Hi guys, Sherry here from Norfolk's Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, so today is the December the 3rd, and so tonight is the super full moon in Gemini. So I thought as a part of celebrating my birthday, which is actually tomorrow, is uh, when I started the channel. I could have swore it was after Christmas, but I, I checked it out. My first video I uploaded was uh, December the 1st to the 9th, I believe. So in celebration of that and also um, to utilize the full moon energy, I thought I would do a little reading for you guys. Um, okay, so I was thinking of doing a split divine, or no, just a, a divine partnership. So this is going to be a twin flame reading, uh, but in the divine partnership form. Uh, so I'm going to use the, um, um, what is this, steampunk tarot. For the masculine side so let me pull the cards first and um, i'll go through the positions and i'm actually going to pull three cards uh, for clarifiers per position as well And from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for the masculine side. Okay, and so for the feminine side, um, I think this is a witch's tarot. Okay. Okay, so let me just give my cards a quick shuffle. So uh, Mercury is also going in retrograde, or is in retrograde probably right now. I'm not sure the exact date. So, you know, this is a heavy energy. There's problems with communication. Um, this full moon in Gemini is more of a, you know, the same, along the same line. It's a heavy energy. There's a lot of dark energy that is associated with it, but um, I rarely feel that energy. Um, I'm Cancer, so I'm ruled by the moon. So whenever there's a full moon, I tend to really indulge in the mystical, the unknown, it, it draws out this, um, you know, mysterious energy within me. So, um, I use it to my advantage. Okay. So let's begin. So starting with the masculine, how does he view this connection as the six of cups, six of submersibles? Um, so this is the reunion card, right? Somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood or a previous life. So in terms of the, this relationship, he's thinking about memories. Um, he, he feels this warm, loving um, energy when he thinks about the feminine. So there's a desire to reunite. So the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Star card. So we got two wish granted cards here. Beautiful. The Nine of Cups is uh, the most positive minor arcana. Um, this is uh, dreams coming true. You feel like your dreams have been fulfilled or coming true. Um, it's a celebration of love. It's an arrival card. Uh, the Nine is nearing the completion of a cycle. So. Um, it's a time of celebration, right? You, you feel satisfied with it, everything that's happening in your life. And there's this emotional um, satisfaction that goes along with it. 
So in the present position is the Six of Wands, success and victory. So people see uh, the masculine as a rock star, right? Uh, there's this um, enthusiasm and excitement and um, feeling like you're on the right spiritual path. But this is in the position of how the masculine views the relationship. So um, there's a sense that he feels like the feminine is encouraging him um, you know, there's that spiritual connection as well, but there's this vibrancy and, um, connectedness that he feels when he thinks about her and the love is deep. He feels like his dreams are coming true. And in the future position is the other wish granted card. So this is, uh, wishing upon a star and having those dreams manifested, those wishes manifested into your reality. So... Uh, this card comes after a difficult period of time, so it is a healing card offering hope for the future. So beautiful energy that I'm seeing here. Um, you know, <clears throat> when he thinks back in the past, he thinks of the Nine of Cups. And, you know, these times where you guys celebrated love, um, maybe, you know, you went out to restaurants, um, you know, there's music, there's laughter, there's just having a really good time. And there's a feeling that he wants to reignite that energy and he's moving towards um, healing himself so that he can fully re-enter into, you know, union. And I could probably move that over a little bit. All right. So how does the feminine view this connection as a five of swords, conflict, defeat? Um, so this is negative energy being directed um, at her or she is directing it at the masculine. So negative thoughts, uh, negative vibrations and... You know, it's just not a good energy to to be feeling right now. Um, that's kind of the full moon energy that I've been I've actually been seeing this card quite a bit. The Five of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords. Wow, very nice. And the Four of Wands. So the Ace of Swords, past position. This is a victorious card. Um, it is success in making a decision, having an idea, um, you know, because it, it comes from a place of truth and honesty. Um, she's exposed and vulnerable. She's speaking her truth. This is also a communication card. So <clears throat> she may be waiting for communication or a decision. Um, there's a, a surrender to this energy. And she's surrendering to the King of Swords. So in the Twin Flame reading that I did just a couple of days ago, the King of Swords showed up in the present position for the feminine. Actually, it was in the future, and it was connected to the Three of Swords. So the masculine is projecting, either this is her energy or it's the masculine's energy, is projecting this shielded or, you know, cold, um, cut off from emotions, energy. And so actually before I came on camera, I made a decision that from here on out, I'm only going to read the cards as their energy and no longer really focusing on whether it's a masculine, a feminine or zodiac signs. Uh, and so unless it, it really calls for that. Okay. So I will mention it, but, um, I really, would like to focus on the energy only. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, uh, the King of Swords is the feminine and she feels that she needs to lay down the rules, make, she made a decision in the past that she's no longer going to engage in negative thoughts, conflict. Um, you know, there, there's a sense that she feels vulnerable when it comes to the masculine. And so she may be closing herself off, shielding herself, uh, and, and uh, becoming emotionally detached. 
So the king of swords is someone who's very authoritative. They are ultimate communicators, which it's kind of ironic, right, that Mercury going into retrograde, it's all about communication, the inability to, to communicate. And it's, you know, electronics are, are affected as well. But there is this ultimate communicator energy that is forefront um, and you know when you look at the five of swords which is the main energy card there's this feeling of you know negative thoughts that are kind of stirring around that, that need to be cleared up and until that energy is, is cleared up she's not going to um, engage uh, in any kind of conflict. She's moving into a loving space with the Four of Wands in the future. This is the uh, confirmation of a twin flame connection. I usually use that this card um, as that, as confirmation. However, in my deck I made an extra card that is an 1111 card, so I'm going to use this card as an energy um, unless otherwise called for. Okay, so if there's a synchronicity that shows up in the feminine side, then I'll, I'll use this as a confirmation, right? So you can see the interplay between the energies. Anyway, she's moving into a more loving space in the future, but right now there's this, you know, she used that sword to completely cut off um, her emotions from the masculine, and it's because of negative thoughts. Um, and or you know this negative energy might be coming from the masculine and, and and she's deciding to to not engage in it so the four of wands <clears throat> sorry there is that throat chakra right uh, communication so the four of wands is um, the twins coming together in the 3d it's manifestation of this connection into the 3d reality and the twins sharing you know um, this sole purpose mission uh, they're in alignment and working together to raise the consciousness to raise the vibration of the world um, but it this card also represents some form of commitment whether it be a marriage engagement buying a home together uh, so this energy is coming towards her in the future um, and it, it feels like it's coming in with that star card. But right now, um, for a lot of the feminine twins, there's this negative vibration that she's picking up from the masculine or, or projecting out, one of the two. So what is the masculine uh, resisting is the messenger of engines. So the messenger of engines is uh, like a page. And engine is wand. <clears throat> so he's resisting communicating or feeling, you know, um, the page is starting a new adventure. And it has to do with uh, creativity, its passion, um, you know, something that feels this passion within you. And it could be, you know, this really um, intuitive idea or an inspiration. But, you know, it's like you're revving the engine, more or less. You're, you're, this energy has been um, created and you're revving the engine. You're, you're getting geared up to move forward. Um, and the navigator would be the next step up. So this, that would be a forward motion, right? So there's a sense of stationary here. The engine is revving. Um, there is a possible movement forward, but it's in his resisting position, so it's not. There's, there's this passion here, um, but there's no movement. So let's find out why. So the Five of Cups, the Strength card, and the Ten of Pentacles, so the Five of Cups in the past position. So this is mourning, heartbreak, pain, loss. So um, even though there, he feels this Nine of Cups in the past, there he's also had his heart broken. So 
he's still healing from that and what that's why you see that star card coming in the future the strength card is love kindness compassion gentle nurturing energy taming the beast within right so he's trying to find the strength the courage in order to move forward the and and this is a you know a loving energy uh, it's not an extroverted energy like this wands here. So there's this retraction kind of feeling here. It's like, you know, a timid or um, protected feeling. And it's like he's inching forward in this, you know, yeah, timid way. Even though there's this volcanic eruption that's kind of... Um, building beneath the surface so the future position is the ten of pentacles nice so this is manifestation of all of your your goals your dreams into reality It is a heavily grounded feeling of accomplishment success it is retirement so it is a long-term goal manifested so there's a sense that this realization of his dreams coming true are happening you can see that fully with the star card you can see that with the four of wands on, on the feminine side so there is still some healing that is required and it's almost like he's afraid to reach out and connect with the feminine um, he he feels either he maybe hurt her too much or this could be his pain that he was feeling. Let me just move this over a little bit more. Okay, are you able to see those cards? Probably not. Sorry, how about that? Okay, so what is a feminine resisting? Two of Swords. So <clears throat> she is resisting making any decision. So it's confirmation that she has already made her decision in the past. Um, she's no longer engaged in indecisive energy. She's not waiting for communication. It's like you know what, I know my truth, I am the king of swords. Um, you can't, it's almost like what I'm seeing here, it's like this gate of, of sword energy kind of protecting her that she's created for herself. Uh, and I'm feeling that because, you know, the two of swords is that same energy. She has her, her arms crossed over her heart. So she's made her decision um, you know, the, the two of swords is having two choices, both, um, are life changers and because they're so important because they affect so many people, there's an inability to move forward. But again, it's in her resisting position. So let's see what the confirmation cards are. So the eight of swords, the 10 of cups and the eight of wands. Okay. So we got two eights, which is you know, in infinity, things coming back full circle again, cycles rebeginning, lessons that weren't completed in the past coming full circle. So the Eight of Swords in the past is the self-imposed prison of the mind. So she felt trapped. If you see this card, there, it, it's kind of projecting the same energy, right? It's If you only make that decision, you can free yourself from that state of mind. And so she felt trapped in the past, and that's why she used that sword to free herself. Um, so the present position is the Ten of Cups. So this is another great energy. We got two wonderful cards here of completion, the Ten of Pentacles in the future uh, for the resisting position for the masculine, and the Ten of Cups in the present position. So she already feels this deep love harmony peace within herself right if you look here there is a guarded energy but if you look within her soul there's this beautiful love um 
and harmony within herself. That's all I can think of. She came from a dark place and she discovered love with, within herself. So she's no longer um, affected by the masculine's indecisiveness. She, she holds the swords. She holds the ability to free herself, which she did. So the Eight of Wands in the future position is uh, the communication card. So texting, um, phone calls, something by air. It could also be travel um, by air. Um, this is Cupid's arrows. So the feminine feels this deep love within her and she's sending vibrations of love out into the universe. Or she could reach out and connect with the masculine or this vibration is coming back to her as a manifestation because this card is the feminine reaching for her highest goals, her dreams, and having them manifested. It's, it's being surrounded by that vibration. Okay, so what is the message from the masculine's higher self? is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, so it's the same card that's coming in the future position. So, <clears throat> sorry. So again, as I've been talking all day, so my voice is also um, cracking up on me because of that. Um, so the Ten of Pentacles, same card, but you can see here how everyone's kind of celebrating the success of the launching of this vessel, right? So, um, there was a lot of hard work put into creating this ship uh, and so it's like success is assured there's you know um, there's going to be abundance flowing into this family's life uh, and they won't have to worry about money anymore or stability right because you know there's this success so his higher self is telling him that this connection will bring him longevity and stability um you know not necessarily financial security because that could be an aspect of it but it's more of a, this groundedness this feeling of of home and safety now oh my god i'm just realizing that in the twin flame uh not the twin flame reading i think it was the divine masculine reading he got the ten of pentacles twice in that reading as well so very cool synchronicity happening here. Um, we're still in that vibration of the masculine feeling this long-term commitment possibly being manifested, but he's getting that, that, that vibration from the spirit. Wow, 1111 card, the hangman, and the three of cups so past position is 11 11 card okay so that's the card i was talking about earlier with the four of wands so in the past the masculine felt this stability this connection this this reality of home in the 3d and it comes from knowing that the feminine is his twin flame so on a 5d level the masculine feels this energy and that's why you see that nine of cups over there you know he felt like his dreams were fulfilled and he wants to manifest it into the 3d he's getting signs and synchronicities from the masculine maybe he's seeing the 11 11 on the clock more or just 11 11 you know in everyday reality synchronicities um number sequences so 10 10 11 right right beside each other um so the hangman in his present position is surrendering letting go of, of control but more importantly it's seeing things in a different perspective it's turning the world upside down it is completely shifting your reality and with the moon and you know with this ending of this you know 12 month calendar of the year coming up soon um there's this real sh sense of a shift taking place on on the collective so the masculine i feel as a collective is really starting to see 
synchronistic signs um, that are helping him to shift his consciousness, right? So even though there is this still um, an importance placed on 3D manifestation and abundance, right? The ego wants um, material possessions to feel successful. The shift is changed from more of a 5D feeling of groundedness, like I have everything I already need, and it's because I, I understand how the universe is looking out for me. Um, you know, it's just, I just feel that there's these bubbles or balloons popping or going off in his mind, like these, these connections are being realized. Um, so uh, it, it's like this grounded energy keeps um, grounding the masculine. I'm running out of words here. Yay, Mercury. Retro grade, fun. Okay, so the future position is the Three of Cups. So this is a celebration, right? It's two people f creating an energy of love and celebrating that love. So he's, you know, this card is about a, a vibration of love bubbling up inside of you. So I feel that in the future, this feeling of celebration and love will activate him. But I feel he's still healing. He's he's holding. He's got the brakes on. In order to fully let go of, of his fear of having his heart broken, right? It that seems to be a major issue. And so the feminine feels locked out. The masculine <clears throat> is the one that um, is holding the door closed. Okay, so what is the message from Higher Self for the Feminine? Wow, Six of Cups. So it's the same card over here. Okay, so the mas I really like how the masculine's kind of looking at a picture. I don't know if you're able to see that very well, but he's, he's, he's uh, looking at an old photo and reminiscing, and I love how it's showing up as masculine energy over there, but over in the feminine side, there's this, purity, this innocence, um, when she f looks at this connection, she sees the feminine and masculine as pure souls, innocent souls. Um, so it is a reunion card, okay? So your higher self is telling you that um, what you desire is coming to fruition, that you know, if it is that you desire this reunion in the future, then that's what's going to come. But I don't know. Let's see what else is coming up with that. I'm almost feeling like I want to pull an Osho Zen card just for further clarifier. Because even though that it's the same card, I don't feel that the feminine wants reunion. I really don't. I feel that she released herself from that mental cage and she's not going back. She is not going to go back. Um, she's not playing the game anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's like the f masculine moves forward. He has these, this energy of reunion here, and then he slams on the brakes. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's moving forward, and then a stop, moving forward, and stop. And it's like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to get a little nauseous here motion sickness from you slamming on the brakes all the time so um you go do your thing and i'm gonna do my thing i'm putting up boundaries here okay um when you're ready to come to me <clears throat> as the king of swords and speak your truth then we can move forward but otherwise um otherwise you know my home is within myself. I'm going to feel this deep love within myself. So I'm not feeling that the feminine wants reunion. Definitely not at this stage. Yeah, there you go. The three of swords and the five of swords. Wow. Okay, so um, this is the same card here. Five of swords. Okay, so this energy of I'm not engaging in bullshit anymore is is 
right there in the forefront, like I said. And it's because she is not willing to become a victim anymore. Right? She is guarding her heart to a certain degree because she knows that if she continues to play that game of hide and seek, uh, that it's just going to lead her back down that road again. Right? So reunion is 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 um you know it would be nice if if it happens but she's not pursuing it and i'm saying that because the knight of wands is in the past position so this is movement forward towards reunion but every time she does that there is a sense of a heartbreak right so and it leads to the five of swords so she's putting that your higher self is telling you the feminine uh, to that you're you're correct in this, that only you can release yourself from that, and so to you need to clear this energy to make way for that night to fully move forward and pursue passion and creativity and you know spiritual growth rather than waiting for someone to to show up. Um, dear friend Guna gave me this rock and so it's a shape of a heart I just absolutely love this thank you if you're watching my dear friend okay so what is in the masculine's past position is the ace of pentacles ace of Le leviathons so that is the beginning stage of the ship, right? So it's people coming in, you know, you got equipment here, they're setting up the lights. So they have the seed of intention is planted. It, the idea is there. And so there's preparation, right? But this is going to be a successful venture. Um, you know, it's going to bring this Ten of Pentacles into your reality. And so this card, Ace of Sword or Ace of Pentacles, um, you know, there's such a good stable stable feeling that comes with it. You know you're everything's gonna be great, right? It's gonna work out great. That ship will be built. You have the people around you who are going to help you. Um and so this is coming in as past position. So yeah, there's this uh, desire to create something new in the 3D or begin, begin a new project or a new life in the 3D. So the Emperor, the Six of Pentacles, and wow, the Nine of Pentacles. So the Emperor past position. So this is a masculine energy um a you know this is the divine masculine energy so it is somebody who is balanced um they are um you know deeply loving uh protective um spiritual you know the uh typical divine masculine um, so this is also loving energy as well. So there's a sense that he just, he knows who he is. He, he's, his true authentic self was reflected or mirrored back to him in the past with that 1111 card. Um, so he felt powerful. He felt true to himself. He felt deep love, um, and so that's the seed that was planted and a desire to have that kind of life manifested into his reality. The Six of Pentacles in the present position is uh, receptivity, cohabitation. So it's sharing your energy, being open to give and receive. And so the masculine opened up this vibration, um, opened himself uh, and so this vibration of giving and receiving was felt by the universe. And whenever there's a void, uh, whenever you give some of yourself, 
the universe wants to fill that void with more abundance, right? So that's what's coming in the future position is, is the Nine of Pentacles, right? This Ace growing to the Six, growing to the Nine, and because it's in a vibration of openness, um, and which only comes from a divine masculine energy, right? It's like he made a realization that... Um, Abundance is going to flow into my life just because I'm open to giving and sharing, right? And it's it's that realization with the, the page of wands that I'm, I'm definitely feeling. You know, there's this feeling of I'm going to, I'm, no matter what I do, it is, as long as I'm living in a positive vibration, um, I'm going to be looked after, right? Abundance will flow into my life. And so that feeling was realized by the masculine and that's why he feels so stable he feels like he already has everything so the nine of pentacles is also an arrival card so it's you know energy that's coming from the past um so the nine of pentacles is is financial freedom independence harvest ripeness the fruit is dropping from the branches so because he was able to give and be open to it that energy is returning to him so if it isn't felt now, this is energy that's coming into the masculine's life in the future. Um, let me just move this up one. No. Okay, so... I want you guys to be able to see the cards. So let's see, where, where can I put this where you can be able to see it? Okay, I'll put it down here. How's that? Oh, I guess you can't really see it that well anyway, see? Let me just move the camera a little bit that way. All right, so what is in the feminine's past position? Wow, the four of wands again. So it's the same card right here, but because this is not my deck, this is confirmation of a twin flame connection. Um, so the 1111 energy is coming from the past. The feminine felt that that connection as well, that love, that, um, you know, they're all celebrating success. Like, um, this could be a marriage, like I said, engagement, but it's a happy energy and celebrating um, unity coming together um, so that energy is coming from the past oh, from the moon the knight of swords and the lovers card okay so the past is the moon uh, you know like I said earlier super full moon all right <laughs> tonight so I was hoping that the moon would show itself and here it is so this is things that are mysterious, things that are unknown. It is like a, a dark veil in front of your eyes. You can't see things clearly. Um, and that really is the energy that is, is felt by the Gemini moon. It brings out fears, darkness, um, you know, and just clouded energy. So there's something that the feminine was needed to know she felt locked out of it she 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 needed communication um the knight of swords is a movement forward uh but it's a very cutting energy it is battling you know he's a champion he fights for ju uh, truth and justice so it's a very scattered energy as well right so there could have been communication that was cutting or truth that was spoken um, that kind of left the feminine confused and essentially longing for the connection. So, although the energy in the past for the feminine is the Four of Wands, which is a very beautiful, vibrant energy uh, celebration, there's this disconnect and confusion that is associated with it. She feels the energy, but she still... You know, it's like there's this cord that is attached to the masculine. It is 
she's she feels that connection but she's you know there's a shroud of darkness separating her from the masculine so she she's looking for clarity she's looking for answers um the lover's card in the future position is you know that deep passionate loving bond created between twin flames and that passion never goes away you don't feel it with anybody else so it is coming in the future so it's a it is a longing card it's wanting that that connection so this feeling of confusion wanting answers feeling this twin flame love and you know and just longing for it is the energy that she doesn't want to feel anymore um you know it's she feels that love she accepts that it's coming towards her in the future but she's not um, she's letting it come to her. She's not actively seeking out information anymore. Do you know what I mean? With the Knight of Swords as somebody who would go off and, and find the truth. Um, whatever these hidden things are, whatever these questions are, that's, um, that she needs answers to. And she knows that if she keeps continuing in that cycle, that desiring this connection, that it's just going to lead to heartbreak, right? Desire for you, reunion is essentially leading to heartbreak. Okay, so what is in the masculine's present position is the seven of engines, seven of wands. So this is confidence, having confidence to speak up, knowing your core values, beliefs, and expressing those. So here we have a masculine energy who is kind of like, you know, in front of this crowd of people and you know it's like he's telling them his views he's expressing himself he's the king of the hill so there's a powerful energy here for sure the two of cups the universe card and the eight of pentacles so the two of cups in the past position is spiritual union. So it is deep love that the masculine felt for the his feminine. You can see that again with the 11-11, the nine of cups over and over again. And so this is having the heart chakra activating uh, higher levels of consciousness. So it is meeting your your yin, right? Your mirror reflection. So he felt that love. He he met his soulmate or twin flame. The present position is the universe card. So it is the final piece of the puzzle is about to be placed. A major sense of achievement and accomplishment. So um, there is this, uh, like, it's almost like he is standing on top of the world, not on top of the hill. You know, um, this, you know, this is a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. So it's going through uh, the fire over and over and over again, right? And so the universe is about to bring abundance into his life. And so it's it's um, major illumination as well. So when it's the end of the fool's journey, so when this cycle completes itself, then the fool's journey begins again. So it's like he's rising, he's coming into power. Um, he felt that emperor energy in the past, and that's what he's trying to rediscover. Um, he feels like there, you know, maybe people standing in his way or challenging him, but he feels strong enough to to express his views you know what I mean and it's because of this deep soul make con connection from the past he knows it he can feel this love so he's definitely all about love and the feminine is is more on more about logic so the future position is the eight of pentacles. So this is positive movement forward. It, it means that there's still more work to do that, um, that 
you know, he wants to manifest this union into the 3D reality, and he's come such a very, very long way. And there's a, a very strong foundation groundedness about this connection, but there's still elements that need to be overcome, uh, whether it be people or, you know, the idea of creating a new reality somewhere else. You know, it's there's something that is stopping him from moving forward. Why is it doing that? Okay, so what is in the feminine's present position is the Four of Pentacles. Wow, not surprised to see that at all. So you can see here that the feminine, even though it's a masculine here, I'm feeling this is a feminine energy being closed off. She's holding on to those pentacles. She's got two under her feet there, holding on tightly to this one, you know, this one between her legs. So she is closed off. She, in the 3D reality, spiritually, she is wide open. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not listening, being closed off. And it's in a protective mode. So the chariot, the queen of swords, yep. And the three of pentacles. So past position is a chariot. So there's movement forward, pursuing the things that you that make you happy, um, overcoming challenges and obstacles. It's a water card, right? So this is um, extroverted energy. It is strength to overcome obstacles, whereas the strength card is uh, taming that beast within it. It's more of an introverted energy. So you can see this movement forward with the feminine, um, with the knight of wands in the past here, and the knight of swords in the past as well. So there's this three um, vibrations of moving forward, feeling happy, feeling exhilarated, and then being met with confusion. So she's closed off and she's being represented as the Queen of Swords in her present moment. So her present moment, <clears throat> sorry for the, uh, in, in how she views the relationship is the King of Swords. But in her present moment, she's feeling like the Queen of Swords. So this is, there's a little bit more of a loving uh, element to this card. It's a mother energy. So this person is sees through bullshit. She has cutting words. She doesn't take shit from anybody, right? So the feminine may feel like, you know, saying cutting words, right? Uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who would project this kind of energy. She would say what's on her mind. So I feel that there is a an emotional disconnect, even though there is... There's a sense that she rode the wave of emotions uh, in the past. She has, um, she's in a logical mental state right now. And I said that earlier, and this is a confirmation that, yes, she is in a mental uh, state. So she wants communication from the masculine. She wants the masculine to speak up or don't bother because she already, she already feels love of herself and she doesn't require anything outside of herself in order to feel um, any more whole than she already is. So the Three of Pentacles is in the future position. So this is a regressed energy from the four to the three. So this is more of a successful feeling. Um, it is planning. Um, it is a firm foundation being ground being laid or grounded, but there's a sense that she's working on something for the future. She's not putting a lot of effort into it. You know, she is, um, she does what she needs to do and that's about it. She, and she's not willing to share anymore. Okay, so what is in the masculine's future is the Eight of Engines, Eight of Wands. So, synchronicity, same card showing up in the feminine's future position, linked to that feeling of being imprisoned, the Ten of Cups, feeling in love within herself. So, the masculine is either 
receiving communication or desiring to communicate, but it's an uplifting energy. You can see here how they're above the clouds. Um, there's radio towers here or cell towers. I don't know. I don't know, but they're in a um, gondola kind of thing, a sky lift. So it, there. What I'm really feeling is like this tie, this cord that's connecting the masculine to the feminine, and a desire to communicate or move towards ten of swords, death card, and the high priest. So the past position, ten of swords, is an ending. Feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back. Um, you know, being stabbed in the back ten times, left for dead. So it something ended, and it was a painful ending. It left him wounded, right, with that Five of Cups energy. So it's like, and then, well, and then in the present position, we have the, the Death card. So it's a, kind of the same energy. So the Death card... When something ends, the death card comes in and clears away the, all the rot, all the decay, um, cleanses the space, the environment. So the aid of engines is also accelerated motion, so it's an uplifting vibration, right? Um, so this is also death of the ego, death of the old identity, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis. So there's a rebirth from this darkness into a more... Um, uplifted, illuminated state and a desire either to communicate or what have you because there's, you know, th the main card is about communication maybe he cut off communication or there was, or the feminine cut off communication right? because I'm really feeling that the feminine has laid down the law, right, she, she's not she made the decision not to communicate, so he feels that energy as a ten of swords, whereas the feminine feels that energy as a, an ace of swords. She was the one that made that decision. The masculine felt that as a ten of swords. So she ended something in the past. And so that death card is coming into the masculine and it's washing away that energy. It could also mean that the masculine finally puts an end to the ego. So the future position is the high priest. So this is uh, a spiritual leader. Um, crown chakra activation here. So from this death, from this ending, there will be spiritual enlightenment. And the masculine may connect with somebody who's a spiritual leader or spiritual leader may came, come in and, and guide him out of this darkness. Um, but either way, there's a shift in perspective that is happening. You know, this sense of groundedness and completion and wholeness within himself uh, I feel is realized, especially with somebody who is a high priest. Um, so it's like he becomes the embodiment of the high priest through a dark time. So the eight of engines connection is what I'm feeling there. That that bond, that desire to communicate, reach out. So what is in the feminine's um, future position is the hermit. So I like seeing that energy better than I like seeing the four pentacles or the two of swords, right? It's, it's a illuminated state rather than um, closing yourself off because of mental noise, closing yourself off in the physical, right, or cutting out communication or what have you. Um, this is someone who's been on a spiritual journey. They are standing at the top of a mountain. So they are like, there's someone who completely disconnects from the 3D reality. And nothing, uh, like they're the Buddha, right? There's no earthly pleasures that uh, they seek. They, what they seek is wisdom. And so here the lantern represents his own light within. He's using his own light to guide him on this journey. And uh, so the feminine is stepping into solitude. She is 
she's enjoying aloneness. The Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. So Knight of Cups, past position. She moved forward with love. She opened herself up. She gave up herself. She tried to connect. It's a longing energy, right? This is courting, offering your love, desiring it, um, moving forward with it. And so the Seven of Pentacles is in the present position. So this is waiting for the return, waiting for the ships to return, uh, gestation period, contemplation. So while she was in that state of contemplation, she made some realizations um, and she was in that gestation period for quite a while because she's arising out of it as the hermit, right? Um, she's, she trusts her wisdom she, that she's gained. She, she's released herself to spirit uh, and just allowing whatever to be to be. Uh, the Three of Wands in the future position is a thumbs up from the universe. You're on the right path. Keep going. Um, there is no longer a desire to connect with love. She's no longer waiting, right? There's, there's the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups there. Do I keep saying Wands? Sorry. But the Knight of Cups um, is a very similar energy to the Hermit. But uh, it is the reverse of that. It's the opposite energy of that, right? There's a solitude and contemplation and a feeling of love, but the love isn't out there, right? The Seven of Pentacles waiting for something out there. Uh, the Knight of Cups is longing to connect with somebody out there in a loving way, whereas a hermit disconnects because he wants to. They enjoy, they desire solitude uh, and they are discovering the love within themselves not something out there and so from that there's going to be realizations and a feeling of empowerment and you're getting encouragement from um, spirit to keep going right move out of that longing waiting energy so what is message from the universe for the masculine is the cosmic blueprint so let's see here, 21. So that would be the world card. Very cool. So uh, what I'm seeing here is like the clockwork universe, right? Um, you know, everything's kind of ticking along. Everything's connected. Uh, there's this cycle of completion that has ended. Um, you know, the 20 years up to lifetime kind of energy that's in his present moment. And so here it's just a confirmation card in his present moment connected with the Seven of Wands. Um, and here it is the, the main energy card. So there is a major cycle that's coming to an end. Uh... Again, acknowledgement from the universe. The universe is saying to the masculine uh, that look at what you've accomplished. You've arrived at this, you know, higher state of, of consciousness and abundance is coming into your life. The cosmic blueprint, very cool. So the Four of Cups, the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. Wow. So the past position is the Four of Cups. So in the past, you've been disconnected. You've, you know, this is somebody being offered a cup, cup of love and then turning their back on it. Um, or it's a feeling of disconnect, boredom, stagnation. So you, what I feel here is no movement. And that movement is, no movement is starting to, uh, leave a sour taste in your mouth, right? There's this stall, this desire to move forward. I'm tired of waiting, you know, with that page of wands that's coming in the resisting position and is also being sh shown in your present position from the universe. You, the universe is saying that you want to move forward. You don't want to look back. You want something to complete. You know, there's the end of the fool's journey and it begins again. 
So the Fool card and the Page of Wands, very similar energies. It's starting a new adventure, but the Fool has no expectations, right? So there's this added element of completing a cycle, the end of the Fool's journey, who would have no expectations? They arrived at that state, um, and that's being trans m uh, transmitted to the Page of Wands. It's like even though the, the Page of Wands is excited about a new adventure and the prospects of this new reality in life and in a spiritual way, um, there's no attachments to it because he's already learned his life lessons. There's this, um, instead of a, an innocent, childlike energy who's beginning this new journey, there's this wise uh, soul that has acquired so much understanding um, in terms of spirituality and he can see how he's acted in the past and how um, it's affected his life right so this card is a completion card um, so he has another page here so pages are messengers so this is great news great communication so he's being encouraged to you know not only rev that engine, but put it in gear and move forward. The page of cups is communication of love. It's a desire to start a new relationship, a new connection, um, and send messages. So again, the eight of wands in the future is Cupid's arrows. We have the page of cups in the future, which is loving words and messages. So the masculine um, may be desiring to reach out and communicate. Let's see, where are we? Is that too far out? I guess you can kind of see it all right. Okay, so what is the message from the universe for the feminine is the king of cups. So... The King of Cups is somebody who is emotionally stable. They, their love is deep, it's pure, and, um, you know, they give love unconditionally. So the devil, the um, judgment card, and the nine of wands. Wow, okay, so the past position is the ego. So the universe is telling you to be the king of cups. Right now you are in the queen of swords, the king of swords energy, very emotionally cut off. And it's because you allowed the ego to control you in the past. So the ego is those whispers in the ear. Um, it's also a chain holding you back. So a codependent relationship and addiction, self-living beliefs. Um, you know, so you met the ego or you, you confronted the ego in the past. And so that's the reason why you're closed off, right? So these, this energy, um, you know, spirit is asking you to open up, look at the past, look at how you have been beha behaving. The judgment card is uh, another reevaluation. It's a review of your life and seeing how certain events, certain, um, you know, the ways in which you've reacted, the paths that you've taken have led you down certain roads. So th there's, you know, the universe is telling you to look back and see how the ego um, has been controlling you, right? So this is a grand awakening, epiphany, realization. So the, the universe wants you to open up your your mind and your heart. Be the king of cups and give love. Um, the nine of wands in the future position is the wounded warrior. So this is being beaten down time and time again and still having the power and the strength within you to give it that final push. So this has been a long road. You want to give up. You want to throw in the towel. You, towel. you don't want to do this anymore. You're tired. But if you continue to resist, um, if you continue to set up boundaries and walls for yourself, restrictions, then um, 
you will continue to be that wounded warrior, that wounded energy. Um, but also there's this feeling of don't give up, right? Um, okay, so like the, the ego is only powerful uh, because you give it power. You give it the ability to control your, your life. You know, on, on the same, at the same time, the ego isn't something to be feared or hated, right? It's often used as a scapegoat. You hide behind the ego. Uh, so being able to embrace the ego and not necessarily control it, but don't allow it to take over your life. So what is in the masculine's external environment is the five of submarines, five of cups. So it's the same card up here that showed up in the past position, feeling of a closed off heart. Um, so he's looking out that window at his external environment and, you know, you can see there's a feminine here who's, who's, um, Who's deep diving, I guess. So it's like he's longing, he's thinking about this connection. It's kind of very similar energies. I'm just realizing as the Four of Cups here, looking out, longing. Um, this card is having your heart broken, mourning, loss. It's deep pain. All right, so in terms of his external environment, he's feeling this disconnect. He's feeling um, aloneness. He, he feels heartbroken. Oops. Okay, so Temperance card, the Hermit, and the Seven of Cups. So Temperance past position is balance um, in all areas of your life, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. Uh, being in the now, being in this moment, um, it's also the ultimate union card for, for twin flames. So there's a sense of unity and balance coming from the past. Um, and again, pointing to the emperor, the 11-11 card, the two of cups, right? He felt whole and complete and balanced. And so now there's that, you know, whenever you've attached yourself to something, that thing leaves, there's that disconnect. That's where heartbreak comes from. So that's why he's feeling that disconnect that heartbreak coming from the past because he, he no longer feels that harmony so the hermit is in the present position so this is somebody who again detaches from the 3d reality goes on a spiritual quest a journey to discover self so the masculine may be picking up on that hermit energy from the feminine right because she's disconnecting closing herself off she you know on some level he feels that and, it, and um definitely a vibration that he's feeling in his heart, right? Um, it could even turn to anger if he doesn't deal with it. So the Seven of Cups is in the future position. So we got a five to seven. So this is confusion. Not You know, it's having a lot of choices, not knowing which road to take, knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there. So he will still be left in this confused not knowing what to do, state of mind. Um, and I'm just looking at the cards again. But ultimately, there's a great illumination that comes from the masculine, but in terms of, you know, his... Okay, there's illumination that comes as a high priestess in the future. Or high priest, sorry. Uh, in the future, but in terms of his external environment, um, there's still going to be decisions and choices that he doesn't, um, he doesn't know where to go, right? But ultimately, illumination um, of the crown chakra brings him the answers, if that makes any sense. Okay, so what's in the feminine's external is the Six of Pentacles. So it is that receptivity card, you know, sharing your life, your energy, your, your where did I see that? 
being open to giving and receiving and that energy comes back full circle where the heck is it oh yeah it's in the past position for the masculine so the six of pentacles here um so i think that the feminine is just she's being open to giving and receiving to other people you know this energy is kind of turned away from the connection she's looking after her own needs um, and herself and the people that are within her 3D reality. The Page of Swords, the Six of Cups again, and the Page of Pentacles. So two pages here. Two on the, the masculine side for message from the universe and the external environment is also two pages. So it's like all these pages, that's four pages coming from the masculine energy uh, so definitely a strong desire to communicate and I'm actually going to be pulling some chakra cards um, just before I look at the overall energies here using the John Holland deck so hopefully I don't forget um, so that'll tell us what kind of energy the feminine and masculine are resonating in but I'm going to leave that till later but anyway I get the strong feeling that the, you know communication is um, important or desire to reach out and connect so the page of swords is the double communicator so um, very important truthful honest open communication from the past and um, it's like that feminine made a decision right there's that sword mental um, energy coming from the feminine so the six of cups is in her present position so again same card reunion okay um, be open to that reunion. Don't close yourself off. Uh, so it's the external environment. So it's the same card over here. So the feminine, you know, that energy of reunion is there. That energy of reciprocation uh, and connectedness is there. Um, and it's coming from a place, it's coming from possibly a decision or communication that took place in the past. Anyway, the uh, page of Pentacles is in the future position, so this could be communication in the 3D. Um, this is a new start in the 3D. It's taking that Ace of Pentacles, growing it, putting plans and work and effort into something. So in the future, there seems to be this planning stage. Um, what I'm really feeling here is that the feminine is just kind of shifting her focus away from this masculine energy and reunion energy and turning her attention to other things, looking after those in, in her environment, building her skills. Okay, so what it, does masculine fear? Wow, the nine of swords, nine of airships. So this is fear, worry, anxiety, guilt, nightmares, night terrors. So he's afraid to communicate. He's afraid that he's going to be met with this kind of energy. He's afraid of this energy. You know, it's just anger, frustration, fear. You know, and that Nine of Swords is in the past, right? So he definitely knows what that kind of energy can feel like. Ultimately, he's putting an end to feeling that way. Oh, nice. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Swords. And the Solar Plexus Chakra. So past position, eight of Cup, or Ace of Cups is brand new beginning of love. So again, he's the one feeling this deep loving connection for sure. In the past, it keeps coming up over and over and over again. Um, and so this card only shows up when you've let go of the past, you've healed your heart, and you're fully ready to open and receive love into your life. However, the masculine's present position is the Two of Swords. So that's the same card up here. It's indecision, right? Very cool that we have a feminine on this side and the masculine energy on this side. So he's afraid to move forward. He's afraid to take a chance. He's afraid to start again. He's afraid to make decisions about love, right? So he's at a crossroads. It's like this is his energy that he's he, he's in, that he fears. Um, 
so the future position is a solar plexus chakra so this is courage strength power lower vibration so it's a sense of lacking right this fear almost demasculates him right and so he's trying to find that strength that power and he's building it right the seven to the eight here um, and there's a desire to move forward and there's a sense of groundedness and stability but in terms of love he's always going to be stuck at that crossroads until he finds the strength and courage within him to, to move forward so what is the feminine fearing wow the two of cups so the same card that was in the masculine's past I mean the, the present past position there spiritual union um, meet, you know, meeting your twin flame feeling that deep love that bond your soulmate right so very cool you know we see this innocent energy uh, mirrored as you know grown-ups or adults so you fear that this spiritual connection may never happen for you or that you may never desire it again um, well, let's see what the confirmation cards are Four of Pentacles, yeah. The Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So, past position, Four of Pentacles. Being closed off, not allowing somebody in, you know, that Queen cutting energy um, occurred in the past. So, that the feminine, either the masculine was closed off or the feminine became closed off. As a result, the feminine is kind of stepping into this powerful energy as of the Queen of Wands, very charismatic, very open, very, um, very powerful leadership energy, free spirited. Um, she says what what's on her mind, and she doesn't give any fucks. Right, uh, the Queen of No Fucks Given. Future position is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is movement forward, very grounded energy, uh, successful energy, he always arrives at his destination, very calculated and planned. So the feminine is, it's almost like she's not moving, but in reality she is moving, you, you just can't see it, it's very slow. She's working on something, but she's not putting a lot of effort and energy into manifesting in, into the 3D anymore. Um, she is focusing on her truth, her power, her um, spiritual growth, you know, and just not um, seeing this connection, you know, not putting this connection uh, first and foremost. Right? It's all about spiritual growth and releasing herself. Okay, so what is the overall... Oh, Actually, let me just pull these cards here. I want to make sure they're upright. Okay. So this is, I took the chakra cards out of the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot and Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So the masculine energies, the green cards, the feminine is going to be the purple. So for the feminine, the overall chakra energy that the feminine's in. Wow. Beautiful. So I t also took out the Divine Feminine and, and Divine Masculine uh, cards because for me this shows the Feminine or Masculine in complete alignment. Their chakras are, are completely aligned. They're in their Feminine energy. So as an overall energy, the Feminine is loving herself. You know, that's beautiful. Um, that love that she was giving to the masculine, she's now putting into herself. Uh, but just be careful of completely closing yourself off, right? Okay, so what is the masculine vibrating in? Crown chakra. Nice. So... You know, this is a direct connection to source, illumination, consciousness. So I feel, you know, I was picking up a strong vibration of the masculine getting synchronistic signs and vibration from source. So um, 
I think that things are clicking for him. He's understanding how this connection is made to rise consciousness within himself and humanity. So I think he's putting pieces of the puzzle together. He's making those connections. Okay, so what is the overall energy for the masculine? It is the king of swords. Wow. Okay, so that would be confirmation that the feminine is picking up that cold, um, unemotional, detached energy from the, fe from the masculine and reflecting it back to him as the queen of swords. And remember that Mercury retrograde is all about communication, right? The, in the inability to communicate. So there is a mirroring here. The, the feminine definitely feels that energy. Um, so he is connecting more with the heart space um, while he's in that disconnected. You know, the king of swords is... Um, all about mental, right? And the crown chakra is I know. So I think there's this mental, um, ultimate mental um, clarity that the masculine's coming into for sure. Okay, so what is the overall energy for the feminine is the death card. Okay, so the death card is, uh, where did I see that? So it was the Ten of Swords. The Death card is coming in the masculine's future position here. Um, so what I'm feeling here is the feminine has put an end to, you know, has put a death to the ego. There's a major shift that has happened for the feminine and the masculine, both. Um, but, you know, it's like she's, the, the energy of the horse is moving away from the connection. So um, there's definitely things that are coming to an end in her life. And she, she's the one that's making the decision to do that. Um, it's this clearing away for sure feeling that I'm feeling. She's just allowing the 3D reality to slip away like a loose garment, right? Anything that doesn't serve her anymore, she's cutting it out of her life. Um, she's seeing how she was controlled in the past. So this is a butterfly rising from the chrysalis, very p pure, very um, powerful energy. So that's what she's in right now. And she's being reborn you know, she's already the divine feminine. That's the energy she's in. It's, it's like nothing can cling to her. These darker forces um, can't cling to her as long as she's in that state of nurturing, you know, and loving the goddess of love. Okay, so... Um, now I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaid, so this will be a final message from the universe. And yeah, so thank you again, guys, for your love and support, your comments. I read them all, even though I don't have the time to reply to them all. Just know I do read them all. I appreciate them so much. Okay, so what is the message for the feminine? This one wants to be... Okay, so mermaid with mother and child, and for the masculine is Archimboldo mermaid. So this is like a feeling of lack, I think. All right. So, please tell me, Mother, what shall I become? Who should I love and lose before my life is done? Help me understand, Mother, how to lead my life. I need to know before I become a weary wife. The young mermaid child shelters in a calm cove with her mother. She is cautious but receptive to the words of sage advice bestowed upon her. So the meaning is heed maternal advice, be attentive, to advice from a trusted elder or family member. 
a maternal figure from an older generation and has much wisdom to offer when you need it the most. Be humble. Now is the time to listen and absorb. You may not hear what you want to hear, but rest assured you will hear what you need to hear. So listen with open mind and with the assurance that years of experience lie behind the words of wisdom you will receive. Um, be receptive to many venues. The advice may come in the form of a personal visit, an unexpected call, or any number of forms of communication. While you should be responsive, do not actively pursue this advice. It must come unbidden if it is to be sincere. So, you know, what I feel strongly is the feminine just stepping into this wise, um, all-knowing energy. Um, or, you know, literally it could mean that she receives wisdom, but make sure it's not something that's forced on you. Um, yeah. Okay, so number 18. Okay, so alone we drift distractedly. A world, sorry, uh, distractedly, a party drawn apart. Together we're invincible, a living work of art. At first glance, she's a pretty mermaid lass, gazing soulfully with her large pale eyes. A closer inspection reveals a myriad of fish and other ocean dwellers that comprise a really luxuriant tail combining to create a living work of art. So the meaning, the sum of your parts. Lately, you've been experiencing feeling of self-deprecation. Maybe you have been studying your figure with a dissatisfied eye or bemoaning the size of your feet. You need to stop the hypocritical analyzing before you sink any lower. You are so much more than a collection of your parts. Other people do not look at you through the lens of a microscope, and it is unhealthy to do so yourself. Concentrate instead on the beautiful person you are as a whole and treat yourself with love and affection. Okay, so this is all about self-love. You need to love yourself. Um, there's this feeling of lack in the 3D reality, and I think there's going to be a realization that you already have everything that you need. There's nothing that the feminine wants from you other than just you, your love, right? So get over it. Um, all right, so I hope this helped you guys. Um, I love you so much, and if you want to show the love, please subscribe. Um, almost at 6,000, so, um, you know, in light of my birthday, um, I may offer a special. Um, we'll see. So, yeah, I love you guys. All right, cheers. Peace.